All right, let's do this thing. All right, uh, I am retweeting this thing, and then uh, we're doing to this tweet. thing. All right, all right. So we've played this game in a month. Has it only been a month? It's only been a month. No, two, no, two, no, months, two, two months, two months, because I was on yeah. vacation. Yeah, and we did, we did uh, like a couple streams of uh, Surviving Mars. Yeah. yeah so yeah, 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 it's been a while. Um, so our palate has been cleansed. Sure. And we broadly forget what's going on. Except that we are 100% uh, gonna make out with Draco at some point. Oh, yeah. It's like all I remember. Okay, so we talked to all our peeps. I think we talked to all our peeps. Um, so oh. Two character quests available. Right. So I think we were doing those. Yeah. I think that was and, our... then, and then I think we're like heading to Everborn. Are we? I think that might be where we are. Okay. But yeah, character quests go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have All no right. idea what they're about. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh dear. Shit's real. Oh, let's uh, check our mic for a sec. Can people actually hear us? Can people can actually hear us, and now the mic is pointing at us, so it's even easier. But, oh, that's but exciting. Sometimes I just get a feel about the microphone, and I'm like, I should make sure we're in the right audio device. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Saren had been watching Kamara in the distance for a long time now, which is not at all weird. The witch was sitting at the edge of the forest with a black book. Everything she owned was black, actually, come to think of it. Even the scorpion, black. Every now and then a mysterious light would appear and then disappear, because that... So, so it blinked. I was going to use the word flicker, but I guess technically it might not do either. It might be like a flashlight where it's just like... Yeah, it could, could be like a slow pulse. Yeah. Like maybe it's warning like over like planes <laughs> that she's very tall. Mm. Saren's curiosity got the better of him and he finally approached her, though carefully. That, that's... Seems reasonable. That seems wise, yes. You're not doing anything dangerous, are you? Kambara stopped as if she were annoyed, on account of she was annoyed. If you must know, yes, I'm doing black magic. I happen to enjoy it, if you didn't notice. What are you doing? We have the right to know. It's black magic. I told you. We don't need to worry. I won't summon demons or change someone into a toad. But I could. I'm more into summoning devils and prefer salamanders. <laughs> what you're doing is forbidden. Ah, uh, silly rule. Because it's dangerous. Well, it's not dangerous. You have a sword. It's because it's fear. It doesn't mean it's... Kamara stopped speaking and her eyes widened. Kambara? She doubled over and continued to stare blankly ahead of her. She wasn't breathing. Kambara! Saren rushed next to her and instantly felt that she was boiling hot. He tried not to panic. He racked his mind for a spell. And he's literally all you know is heal spells. It's your only use. You're equipped for this. You trained for this. He placed his hand against Kambara's chest and closed his eyes. In the next moment, he yanked his hand away from her and a bright multicolored flame was ripped out of Kambara's body. I do like the flame effect. Yeah, yeah. That's very... It's very CSS. <laughs> I, I was going to go with, like, lazy Christmas decorations. Like, you get the, the mm. like, one projector light that fades from colors. And, like, they're mostly right, but one of them's, like, fuchsia. And you're like, that's not really Christmas color. <laughs> Saren held the magic fire in his hand and stared at it wildly, trying to make sense of... Stared at it. Comma? There's a comma there? There somewhere, should be a comma there. A comma somewhere. Stared at it. Wildly trying to make sense of what just happened. No, I think he stared at it wildly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, ah! well, That's fair. I guess if it's your first time. <laughs> Kamara recovered and saw that Saren had saved her. What is this? What just happened to you? How did you do that? How are you continuing to do that? Do what? Kambara stared at Saren and on. That was a good line. I, like... She crawled over him. She sat in silence for a moment. You are holding dark magic. 
That doesn't even seem like a meaningful sentence. Don't drop it. All I'm saying is, <laughs> don't drop it. This is important. Saren shot his hand as far away from him as possible and tried to shake the magic fire from it. Yes, because his immediate reaction is to drop yeah, it. Yeah, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. <laughs> no, stop, don't, don't drop it. <laughs> Kamara stopped his hand and held the fire up to her face. This is amazing. Get, get rid of it. Have you always been able to do this? Wield raw magic like this? Saren swallowed, trying not to focus on how much he didn't want to be holding dark magic anymore. Well, I, technically I am the protagonist, so probably. But please, take it. Take it away. Uh, I can't. Only people like you can be so lucky. You call this lucky? Well, still, let, let me finish this spell. You know, it only happened because you interrupted me. Mara hastily read the rest of the page and pointed her wand at the flame. She After has a wand now? Sure. Okay. After some guidance, the flame jumped from Saren's hand and into the air. It swirled and disappeared. They both stared at the empty space and tried to regain the feeling in their bodies again. I remember when I could feel feelings. Saren finally looked back at Kambara. He saw that she was already staring at him. You have the gift. Uh, no. I am literally the least useful per member of this party. That is not true. Karen is very bad. <laughs> Some jackass totally misbuilt her stats because the game did not explain them. <laughs> well, your stats, also not great. I've only read of those who can control dark magic as you have done. I have never seen it with my own eyes. I am a magician like you. There are differences. She shook her wand and grabbed Saren's wrist at the same time. I read books and follow recipes, like most every other magic user. I can't reach into someone's soul and pull out dark magic. I can't hold it in my hand with only my mind. It was a little French. It was, yeah, you've, you've lost yeah. the sort of, sort of. <laughs> I have. It's been a long time. Kamara's eyes bounced between Saren's intensely, intently. How does, like, you, she looks at one and then at the other. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, and that's. Then it, because you can't look at both some, both eyes of somebody at once if you're close to them. It's, it, you'd have to, like, split them apart like you're doing a magic eye book. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. Who? Huh. They stared deeply at each other for a moment. Saren began to feel the weight of what Kambara was saying. You're fine. What she's saying is you're fine. Yeah. You can become something very powerful. I can teach you. There are always two. <laughs> Turn into a scorpion. Kill the younglings. Saren pulled away from Kambara then. It was Saren's instinct not to trust any offer from a witch. To do evil? Mm. Or do pesters? <laughs> <laughs> Her literal answer is, uh, "Is a whole world out there that simple-minded folks turn away from in fear, ignorant, simple-minded fear of skeletons and demons, and the 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 sound of tearing tin foil that it makes when you rip someone's soul out of their body." Would you throw away the gift, this gift to live by the rules of a world that has literally actually enslaved you? You have the power to change that right now. I can help you. It was a romantic idea. The visions of freedom and power raced through Saren's mind. And Kambara, she was a dark witch. She was hunted and considered evil. Would he want that for himself as well? I can't live like you. I need more than that. Oof. And frankly, I think you do too. Hurtful. It was Saren's turn to leave Kambara. The memory of that day haunted Saren for a long time. The idea that he could be talented not only with magic, but with dark magic. That scared him. She'd only want him to help him explore that talent, but then... Saren would become just like her. 
Except she, she did explicitly say, no, not like me. Because you're different. Because you're literally different and way more awesome. Well, the more he thought about it, he started to wonder why that would be such a bad thing. Go! Oh, got those hearts! Ooh, and a sound effect. All right. All right. Um, uh, let's let's do Lorenz first because I don't want to. Hmm, that's fair. Remove your party setup before proceeding. Oh right, we have, to, we have to bring Loren and Saren, and nobody else. All right. Well, let's put her in the front and us in the back, and then everybody... no, we have a good sword now, actually. No, oh, okay. Loren simply nodded as they made their way to the Citadel. I don't remember what this quest is. Not, no. At all. No idea. I. Hopefully we'll just be able to ignore everything and kill our way through it like we did with the others. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loren was greeted as an unproven princess, but she would leave as something more. A crowd gathered in the Citadel Plaza. The trial of queens started and ended with a public ceremony. Right. Oh, right. She gets to be a queen. Yeah, and has to, like, murder some people. Probably. Probably slaves. They'll, they're fine. Yeah. How do we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Problems that spell check can't save you from. I have yet to be told. Crowd parted and Karen walked up to her daughter. Wait, we, we just, we left camp without you. How did you get here before? Never mind. <laughs> I'm glad to see my own daughter where I once stood. May you own the pleasure someday as well. You, what? What does that mean? I hope you have kids. I want grandkids, woman. <laughs> get on it. The trial of queens takes place below in the reliquary. The door is here. Karen gestured to a great stone door in the side of the castle. Loren had never paid any attention to it before, but now she realized why. What, 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 why didn't she... No, okay. <laughs> you will go with your servant to the, into those depths. Your trial will be complete when you figure out how to create some grandkids. Get on it! In a reliquary, Mom? I will point out that she says, you will go with your servant into those depths. Your trial will be complete when, when you find yourself out of them again. Yes. Yes. Your servant may or may not, likely not, probably not, actually. <laughs> yes, now that we mention it. <laughs> now that we mention it, there's a reason we send both of you down there. It's really, so it's we... just like, you just sort of feed him into it like a bandsaw. What will I find there? Only queens shall know. Which is why I'm asking you. I'm, a, I'm about to be a queen. And you are a queen. So technically, both of us should know. Sorry. No, I'm actually bringing... Uh, I read a book recently. And I don't know when it came out. But I want to say like four or five years ago. It was actually, it was actually pretty new. Uh, TJ gave it to me while I was in Scotland. And it also has um uh, a bunch uh, like, like a realm where there is where only women are citizens and they have queens and and like women become queens and they have a trial of queens mm. and i'm curious about the next piece of this to see if this is just like a a, a rip from that or not then i'll find out until then loren moved toward the door and saren followed right behind her the princess looked over at him and they Share to look, because that's how eyes and reflective light work. No, no, they, they share a look, and they, they have the same artist, so they've got very similar Oh, looks. yeah, like an aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. The doors were opened for them, and they both walked slowly into the darkness. They this descended... decidedly familiar. Yeah, and deep into the ground. Ancient weapons and other historical Amazonian artifacts lined the walls around them, like skulls. Lots of skulls. And apparently non-load-bearing pillars, because that one at the back's not holding much up anymore. <laughs> uh, there were also the mummified remains of great Amazons. 
the great mothers. I am so uncomfortable here. <laughs> yes, I... The sound of clattering bones surprised them, and they whirled around to attack. You know, I'm not actually surprised somehow. No, it's... Yeah. A skeleton stood before them. Um, what I got? What have I got for this? Oh, my, I, I had something and then it... Oh, I have the perfect thing. Oh, another queen has come! I cannot believe it. Hold your weapon. I hope this is a long conversation. Are, are you one of my great mothers? Your land is in famine! What? A child steals food! Oh, this is like the test you take at the beginning of Fallout. Right? Oh, yeah, to, to yeah. set your character stats? Yeah. <laughs> you grow a third arm! What do you do? Do you punish the child? Um, uh, pardon? Do you punish the child? No. Wait, wait, wait. is this us answering or Loren? This is Loren. So, so, the <laughs> question... Well, here, so here's the thing, right? This is our choice, not hers. Which means it's our choice whether she has actually learned anything from her journey, right? Or she immediately, like, the question is asked and she's like, oh... Yeah, she just looks to Saren to cheat. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, you, you, you kill everyone involved, right? Kill, kill the child, kill their parents, uh, kill, kill the food. Um, no, sorry, I've got. I, I, know, I have an answer to this. Loren is going to answer. Do not punish the child. Punish the child's mother. Well. The reason that you do not punish the child is execution isn't really a punishment, it's more of a solution. <laughs> uh, how could punishing a child for the crime of hunger serve my people? Skeleton immediately collapsed into a pile of bones. Oh, if we get the answers right, we don't have to fight them. What happened? I'm not sure. Who was that? A skeleton! I believe I know. There was a queen who sentenced a child to death in her reign. There were many deaths from starvation that year. Perhaps her spirit regrets her decision. Then the Great Mothers are warning you not to repeat their mistakes? Let's not be too hasty with the Great Mothers make mistakes, slave. <laughs> <laughs> Loren nodded and continued through the reliquary. That's not what that is. A reliquary is a small thing that holds bones. Or relics, which are typically bones. Yes. Uh, also hunks of crosses. <laughs> yeah. Um, you need them to uh, consecrate churches. Yeah. Um, Catholic churches. Specifically. Mm. Mm -hmm. Another skeleton hobbled into their path. But they were not frightened this time because it looked like the same skeleton. What does this one have to say? Ren approached it cautiously. Greetings! I am a totally different skeleton! The slaves revolted! They've killed many Amazons, and the fate is in your hands! How do you handle them? Huh. Well, let, let, let's... <laughs> So, my answer is, the Amazons should be deeply embarrassed that they were in any way harmed by slaves. Oh, yes. Like, yeah, the, the Amazons are in the wrong for having died at the hands of slaves? So, so punish the Amazons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you fools. The slaves. <laughs> now, I, I would rather find out why they revolted. Um, I mean, our servants are revolting, but uh, our servants... Um, anyway, our servants work best when their needs... Ah, uh, met. Uh, she looked over at Saren briefly. <laughs> and Saren's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, servants, that's what we are. And we're, what we're talking about are things like 
fair living wages and union strikes. Yeah. Not violent revolts in an attempt to escape slavery. Yeah. But no, continue. Like, like notice, continue. notice that none of, none of the answers is stop keeping slaves. Yeah. Right? Like, the question is, how many slaves should she kill? Yeah, like, <laughs> her answer is basically politely ask why they had a violent murderous revolt so and, and then change nothing yeah <laughs> so so i think that 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 the game is going to be like that's the correct answer there's a there's a great mother that regrets something 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 but i think that the the in-universe answer that we've sort of been given is is that that is the completely wrong answer like that we should have to fight the skeleton and the right answer should have been kill them all yeah the skeleton crumpled. Saren sighed in relief. You answered correctly? Uh, of course. I'm answering from my heart, even though it conflicts with tradition. Do you think the trial is broken? No, no. Your answer was entirely sympathetic, and you're going to make a great queen. They want differently from you, maybe. Ron was silent a moment and then pressed on. They're sometimes scouring the darkness. Yet another skeletal Amazon crossed their path. God, this would be the fucking worst D&D game. That's not true. I can think of way worse D&D <clears throat> games. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you wish to teach me? It is I, yet a third skeleton! An Amazon has been found in the arms of a man. They are lovers. Who do you kill? Woo! I mean, Amazon's in the arms of a man. Somebody's getting killed. I'm just saying. As a queen, you get the pick. Maybe he's a handsome man. Maybe she's a very beautiful and highly skilled Amazon. With the the end, <laughs> you have to kill somebody. Listen, it ain't Amazons if somebody ain't dying. Fuck! <laughs> How do we answer kill somebody? I don't fucking know. What the fuck do you do? Okay, so so I think like the like the the meta game thing is uh, like like what as a queen would you regret and what is the game trying to tell us? And I think the immediate answer is kill the man and that's what the queen regrets. Right? Right, yeah. The question is what happens with the other two, right? Like like I think that the game answer is kill the Amazon. All right. I'm going to say Lorenz answer. Yeah, I, I'm interested. Is I'm interested. like, go like, that's a ridiculous fucking question. Uh, what? Why don't you just kill them both? That makes it. Oh, what? 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 No, no. Wait, wait. My answer. Was an, it is, <laughs> <laughs> is that your final? I thought there was a final answer phase. I thought. <laughs> they are both traitors to the Citadel. Sure. Whoop! Yeah. Alright, yeah, we get to have a fight. Alright, so... <clears throat> uh, it doesn't matter. All the weaknesses and resistances don't matter. So yeah, we just punch and Dilly's death. Uh, we probably battle cry? Yeah, right, right. Uh, she does a lot more damage. Yeah. No, but... Where? Oh, right. She hasn't got it. Oh! Uh, that's, that's, yeah. That's... Uh, can I? She hasn't, she hasn't affected the other effect. But it, he's only got 22 seconds. Yeah, no, I was trying to see if I could knock him back. Or, uh... No, we, we just tell him. He's just doing the better one. We don't have... The run doesn't have any clue. Well... Yay! Oh god, the background's gone away. Loren stood in silence for a long while. Loren, 
I'm scared. It's dark. She turned around with a start. I'm sorry. Let's move on. They walked further until they reached the end of the reliquary. It was a similar stone door, which meant they had found the exit. Yay! But skeleton? We've made it, your highness. I was expecting something higher budget. Doesn't matter. Let's let's leave. She pushed away her disappointment and opened the <clears> door <throat> with Saren's help. Moonlight poured into the cavern. They stepped out into the night and saw the population had gathered on the other side to welcome them. However, instead of being greeted with celebration, all of the Amazons were quiet. Ren was wary as she stepped out in front of them. Or maybe we failed. Mm. That would be so cool. Queen Karen stepped from the crowd with her war spear ready. A circle formed around Karen and Loren. Saren was pulled back in the crowd. Maybe we have to fight our mom! Cool. I see. I'm to duel my own mother. Prove to your people that you are worth their loyalty. Well, sucks about your stats then, bitch. <laughs> Karen raised her spear and braced herself for battle. Loren breathed deeply and reached for her own weapon. It would not be easy crossing weapons with her own mother, but she also feared that she may lose. Karen was not just one Amazon, but their queen. And even knowing that, she gave her mother one of her mightiest war cries. Thor and just fight. <laughs> click, click, click. Are we ready? Uh, so let's buff up. Yeah. 20 damage. <laughs> she does 20 damage. We do 150. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like you're pulling your punches while well, I wish that would just get some more strength here. Uh, yeah. And more skill points. No, we don't have this yet. We were, oh, were we getting? I think we were leveling up to get the... Kill the whole front line? Yeah. I think that was the plan? Sure. We can just truck yeah. up here and truck, truck up, up here and grab that. Yeah. yeah. Although there, there's part of me that hopes that we won't get that far. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Karen tumbled and caught herself. She panted and rose to one knee. It was and then panted, panted, eh? That was a that was a straight up fight with sharp weapons. And she with lost. The sword of destiny. The Sword of Destiny, and apparently uh, its victim has some bruises. It was then when the crowd was allowed to celebrate. Karen stood up and smiled at her daughter. Loren found herself smiling as well. She looked around at all the Amazons cheering for her. This is yours now. Everything the sun touches. <laughs> what about that place over there? Oh, you mean the bit with the men? No, that's not that. that, not that. Loren looked back at her mother. Clarence, Karen slipped off a beautiful necklace that Loren had not noticed before the duel, or ever, because she's the least I'm curious sorry. person. Is it that giant fucking thing on right? her neck? It's like, Karen slipped off one of the two things through she was wearing in the viscular region. <laughs> at all, period. Like, it wasn't hidden amongst her many other adornments. She placed the necklace around Loren's head and rested it on her shoulders. You have earned the love of your people. May you, your reign be long. Karen bowed her head slightly, but Loren bowed even more out of gratitude. Karen laughed. You ne needn't bow to anyone now. God. Now you can start being properly arrogant and right? standoffish. <laughs> Uh, princess, you ah, it's queen. It's um, there was a there was a trial and uh, trial by combat, and uh, it's I'm not trying to brag, but it's queen now. Did you hear about that? Yes. Have you seen the giant necklace? I know it's pretty subtle. I had I never noticed it before. They said a six foot crown was too much, but you know, 
It's good to be queen. Have you seen that wonderful animation with the weird king that keeps stealing crowns? No? Okay, it's great. Uh, people look it up. There's there's a king that steals the crowns of other kings and keeps putting them on top of his own crown. It's great. That sounds amazing. It is lovely. Uh, you're still queen, <clears throat> and you've given me a great gift. But it is you that won our duel. Yes, I queen. totally did not throw that match. Smiled warmly at each other. Saren was finally allowed to join Loren's side. He beamed at her. Congratulations, Saren. Loren smiled at him back. At him back. That's a sentence. And it perplexed those around her, even herself some. She realized then that she was happy she not only had Saren with her in the reliquary, but that she had known him at all. She did not. If she had not know Saren, Loren's answers would have been much different. Her lessons would not have been learned. I am grateful. Saren didn't understand the depth of her gratitude until much later. Oh my! You've received the necklace of queens. Hooray! Loot. All right, let's go back to camp. Yeah. Equip that necklace of queens. Yup. I assume that only Loren can equip it. No, nope, I have done the bad. There we are. Uh, so necklace of strength is attack to damage five. Necklace of leadership, because why would you give it the same? Makes her immune to two conditions. Uh, makes everything yeah better basically. Let's let's do that. And necklace of strength can go. On somebody else. He doesn't have a necklace. Saren's got a necklace of strength. Yeah, Everybody, he has a necklace yeah, every, of strength. We got a bunch of those. Right. Okay. I think we just give it to yeah, Brother Yeah, he here. doesn't have one. Great. Good for him. Good. Do you have pants? No, we don't have any spare pants. Spare rings? We did have a bunch of rings. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, we have none. literal none. All right. That's great. <clears throat> All right. Draco. 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 Our boy. We're pretending to be family? We're going to his college to get his stuff. Yeah! I have the capacity for memory. I dump these out of the, everything that happens on stream out of my memory, like immediately after it ends. There's a VOD. I don't need to remember it. Review your party setup before proceeding. Alright, so... I don't like that the game doesn't do this for us. Well, I mean... It doesn't know that we want Draco in the back. Fair. That's true, I wouldn't trust it to do so that. There were layers to that statement that I hadn't considered before I said it out loud. <laughs> oh, that's real good. Oh, that's real good. <clears throat> Saren found Draco in camp to remind him that he was going to leave for Horus soon. Instead, he found Draco's twin sister. Right, Draco's pretending to be his twin sister. What the fuck? How do I look? Am I a pretty piece of work or what? No, it was only Draco with two apples in his top and a flower in his hair. Um, what are you doing? That's my disguise. An apple slipped out and out, down and out of his robes, leaving him with only one. No. Well, what else can I do? You already said no to the mustache. I've said no to you coming with me, period. But I want to. You asked me to do this because you couldn't. What's the point if you come too? <clears throat> You do need me to go, don't you? Yes. That's why I'm going with a disguise. Saren plucked a flower out of Draco's hair and the mage pouted harder. I'm leaving now. Saren turned and left the sulking mage at camp. Across the plains to reach Horus, an imperial city of magic. That art's pretty cool. It's pretty, it's pretty traditional. Yeah, I would be I would be super like worried about that giant glowing pentagram 
thing sure. in but the sky all the time. The cool thing about being a wizard and having some kind of baller set of wizard towers is when when the, when citizen... the general populace gets upset, then you just have more chickens laying eggs? Yeah, it's yeah. They, 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 when, 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 like, you know, the, the neighborhood association shows up and they're like, uh, the giant flying floating pentagram, I don't know that that's... It's just, it's it's sort of keeping uh, our children awake. It's oh. really not, it's really not, and, and, and you're like, it's not what? It's not, are, are you going to do something about it? Are you, did you, did you learn magic? Sorry, what? It's it's too bright. Oh, it's keeping you up at night. Okay, no more windows. Done. You just no windows. <laughs> no, anymore. no, no. It's cool. Every night at nine p.m., we'll cast a big sleep spell. The pentagram will amplify it. It'll cover the whole neighborhood, and you won't have to worry about staying awake. You're welcome. <laughs> Come back soon. Problem solved. High five. No, 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 no. no? Okay, okay. <laughs> The Magic Academy was the centerpiece of the city and the seat of power for its leaders, because if you're a <laughs> wizard surrounded by like, agrarian peasants, you are the de facto leaders. We did that one shot in uh, last year. Yeah. Fire over there in Grad. Yeah. As Saren walked through the streets, he saw how much the city had come to depend on magic. Everyday objects were animated. Signs were glittering and potion shops were on every corner. Saren pushed through the city and into the grand halls of the Magic Academy. Wizards of all ages were walking with haste to their destinations. After a moment of awe, he approached an ebony desk to get oriented. Oh, man, dude. I, ebony is an awful wood to work with. It is, like, so hard. They're wizards. Yeah, I mean, wizards, man. Yeah, like, they're just showing off, but it is... It is Brutally hard wood. I I was I was thinking actually ebony like from like Elder Scrolls like the the the, the stone right the inexplicably it's a rock yeah 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 which also is really hard to work with because you need like eighty smithing yeah well I I wonder if like you need eighty smithing because it's very difficult to do blacksmith wood <laughs> so you have to be really Hunt? good at it yeah I mean what a hundred smithing gets you bone God I need to play more Skyrim. Uh, anyway, yes, that is what you need in your life. <laughs> Shut up. Excuse me, I'm here on behalf of a mage that used to attend here. I need to collect his belongings. Really excited for whatever character this is. Uh, their name? Draco Firestarter. That's his last name? Uh, that's the last name he goes by. We right. learned that in the first game uh, session, and we were like, what? Wizard. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard. I feel like the, uh -huh. I feel like their editing has gotten worse near the end of the game. Because they're, they're like, just like, get, get this, this fucking thing out the door, right? Wizard stopped what they were doing and stared at Saren like he was from another world, which is not impossible because despite what you may think from all the axes and spears on the back wall, this is a wizard academy and definitely not the upstairs of a vampire castle or a dwarven hall. Uh, and like, you are his cousin. <sighs> the wizard continued to gawk at him. That won't be a problem, will it? Uh, just like, uh, just a second, please. Saren was abandoned at the desk as the wizard rushed off down, uh, the wizard, yeah, huh, to get someone. Uh, excuse me, but did you say the Draco Firestarter? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> This is absolutely happening <laughs> And I am super happy with my voice I've chosen yeah, I think it's uh, really good Saren turned around and almost had a heart attack He's like what have you done to Ramus's beard <laughs> Draco Oh pish posh I'm his uncle I said don't come And that disguise is awful You'll, ha you'll be spotted Long beards are the style now. You're going to look weird without one, actually. Wait, what is that? Is that animal hair? Yeah, sort of scratchy. I mean, uh, I, 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 I'm a little. I'm, we bag I'm on, allergic to it. To we have bagged on this game a lot, but but this scene is really funny. <laughs> yeah, no, I just 
I love Draco's the best part of this game. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's sort of scratchy. Uh, sir. Sarah was startled again. He turned around to see a grumpy dwarf wizard looking disapprovingly at him. Uh, like, on Master Howl, the head professor, you said you were Derry's cousin? Derry? Derry? <laughs> uh, and who's that? His uncle. I mean, my father. My father. Mm, daddy. Draco averted his eyes and looked around the room as Master Howell inspected him. We've met this guy before, haven't we? Or we've we've definitely seen the model before. Yeah. But, oh yes, we've seen that model before. But, but with very because I think we've talked about him. Could be. It might. It might have just been when Draco gave us the quest. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we were like aware that he had family, or at least family that was willing to you know admit it. Well, here we are. Uh huh. I'll guide them, guided them through the halls. Open doors re revealed young magicians practicing alchemy, and chanting spell. We get it; it's Hogwarts. Like I don't know what you'd want with that mage's possessions. He only had his academy issued robes and like some toys, illegal toys, mind you. We don't permit that kind of frivolity. Oh, they're those kinds of toys then. Not even for kids. These were not kids' toys. Uh, but, uh, I, I heard he, he also had a pendant. A chew With him! Oh, I should not have used uh, the No, I, uh, so I would have known about that. Ass. Unauthorized jewelry is also, like, totally forbidden. Oh, new background. Ooh. Master Howell abruptly turned <clears throat> into a storage room. <laughs> 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 well, I really wasn't expecting that. Yeah, well, I just, <laughs> excellent, excellent hiding place. I would, wouldn't, would never have looked inside of you. <laughs> like, totally come in. <laughs> uh, like, you'll totally find a box with his name on it somewhere inside me. Thank you. <laughs> But Hal was out of the room, and the door slammed shut before he could finish, which is actually a little grammatically confusing, but here we are. Saren was taken aback by how callous the professor had been. What's the matter with him? Uh, typical him. I, I hated him so much. Was it okay, because he hated me too. Saren looks over the names in the boxes and spots a familiar name. Hambara? Is this the same dark witch shape? How many of you think there are? Uh, maybe Kambar is a very like familiar, a very common name. Sorry. All right, here I am. Draco opened his box and flipped through his things. As Howell said, only his robes and some toys were inside. Anything? It's not here. Do you think it was stolen? Yeah, maybe, maybe by the warp vase, Mister Howell. I meant by a student. Do you really think he would take it? Draco went to open the door, but he couldn't. Oh, it's it's not opening. What's wrong? Maybe it's stuck. No, no, it's locked. See, I told you he was evil. Oh, you can you can get poison. Yeah. <clears throat> Draco ripped his fake beard off. He knew it was me, and he locked me in here. That's ridiculous. Why would he want to lock you in a room, even if he knew it was you? I told you, he hated me. What did you do to him? Almost nothing. Oh, why'd you have to ask that like I could deserve it? He hated me because I was me and that was all. Sudden explosion rocked the entire academy. Sarah and Draco froze. They could hear mass panic on the other side of the door. What was that? I don't know. We have to get out of here. He shot a burst of flame at the door and it turned to ash. They could see young children fleeing down the hall. They stepped out and saw what they were running from. 